Hi there and welcome to the April 2024 solar update video. Uh, so what's been happening this month? Well I've had my two meters exchanged in the end. Uh, if you may remember my gas meter wasn't talking to Octopus at all anymore. It had gone a bit dumb even though it had worked previously. So it had gone wrong in November 2022 actually uh, a long time ago. Uh, so they came and replaced both of them in the end and installed dual band uh, meters so they talked to each other. And that is now happening, luckily enough. So the gas data is being fed to uh, Octopus. I nearly said Google then for some reason. It's being fed to Octopus. But unfortunately, the in-home display unit's not working. And my solar export is not being sent to Octopus either now. But luckily, the meter is still recording it. So there's still a few problems to sort out. All of these they know about and hopefully they're working on. So let's get into the stats for this month. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and 4 on the east, and a solar edge 4 kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the 3 kilowatt AC inverter and the 8 kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then, of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs, such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Here we are, the month of April 2024, with a total for the month of 590 kilowatt hours. Uh, not brilliant. I'm going to say shabby to be honest, this month. Um, as you can see there, the last two days of the month, the 29th and 30th, it's really starting to warm up now. Um, and they were over 30 kilowatt hours. But we hadn't really breached that figure at all, except for about, just touched it, about halfway through the month on the 14th. Otherwise, we've had sort of some really kind of average days and some quite kind of some tens, nines and ten days, really. Nothing amazing. The lowest day there was seven kilowatt hours on Sunday, the 28th of April, just before it started to get then kind of really good. So it's still been a really wet, uh, windy, uh, horrible kind of April uh, and not as good as you'll find out in a moment as other years. So 590 kilowatt hours divided by 30 gives us an average of 19.69 kilowatt hours per day. So if we look at the spread across the panels for the month of April, uh, on the south side at the bottom where I've got the 10 panels, they're all averaging about uh, 43 to 44 kilowatt hours for the month each. And then the four on the uh, east side are all getting obviously a lot lower but not too much lower really uh, around the 38 39 kilowatt hours um, for the month so as it gets sunnier uh, and during the sort of summer time the panels do kind of average out uh, they, the east does kind of match the south a lot closer than when it does in the winter so here we are with our three years for april uh, the red is 2022 uh, the blue is 2023 and the green is 2024. So it doesn't look good, does it? Uh, we started in 2022 with a really good peak there of 730. And then last year it went down to 679. And this year it's 590. So, you know, if you were a betting man, you'd say next year it'll be even worse. It'd be going even lower. Uh, let's hope not. Um, but yeah, I predicted last month that I was hoping we was going to hit the 600 mark at least. And we haven't quite even done that. So it is a little bit disappointing. Um, looking forward to May, you can see there last year um, and the year before that, they were very similar. So 738, 735. So I'm really hoping next month that uh, we can actually match that. But the way it's been going... I'll be kind of lucky to see 700, but we'll have to see what happens. OK, this is the Hypervolt dashboard that's online. So last month um, in March, we uh, filled the cars up quite a lot, 489 kilowatt hours in March. In April, it wasn't quite as high, 370 kilowatt hours uh, we used overnight to charge both the cars. That averages 
out to be about 12.3 kilowatt hours per night. So for the month, the cars had 370 kilowatt hours out of the Hypervolt. We did manage to get 15 kilowatt hours of free charging, uh, probably with my wife going to the odd pod point and getting five or 15 minutes at Tesco's for free. Um, so that totaled 385 kilowatt hours going in both cars for the month. Uh, the total mileage for both cars was 1625 miles uh, with a total cost for the Hypervolt of seven and a half pence overnight on Octopus Intelligent Go. Although I just call it Octopus Intelligent, is £27.75 pence for running those cars over those miles. So the average is pretty good, really. It actually works out 1.7 pence per mile um, and 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour on average. Now the weather's getting warmer, uh, those miles per kilowatt hour are going up, and you really don't need the kind of heating on at the moment <laughs> in the car, or maybe just put some uh, heated seats on. Uh, so yeah, so the uh, miles per kilowatt hour is pretty good, and so is the average pence per mile. Right, so here's the My Energy Eddy dashboard that's online. Uh, so the Eddy used 197.7 kilowatt hours in April. It's a usual story of I have it set to come on at midnight and go off at 5:30 in the morning on Octopus Intelligent, and then I heat it heat the tank up basically um, for that amount of time whatever it needs until it reaches the maximum temperature and then morning showers are then kind of replenished by a bit of solar during the day back up to kind of max temperature ready for the evening again so 197.7 divided by 30 days gives us an average of 6.59 kilowatt hours that goes into the eddy per day we split up the eddy to daytime and overnight use you can see the overnight use was 119 uh, kilowatt hours and the daytime solar that went into the eddy was 77.97 kilowatt hours uh, this data has been downloaded from the my energy uh, dashboard so it just shows that we're kind of putting in about 60 percent of the hot water overnight uh, with about 40 percent going in kind of uh, during the day from solar so as we've had a bit of a mess up with the meters uh, this month and they're still not perfect but they're getting there uh, we have some missing data from the beginning of april for the electricity import so for the month from the 8th to the 30th we've got 611 uh, kilowatt hours so i've kind of had to uh, go back to previous bills and kind of work out uh, what was available and you'll see that in the calculations towards the end of the video. So this is the electricity export from within the uh, Octopus dashboard. You can probably see here, these are the months, but you can see April's well down. Good reason for that, really. Um, the meters got swapped out, both the gas and the electric, to a dual band version. And the, uh, the import of electric is recording OK, and so is the gas. But the in-house display or in-home display is not working. It's coming up with not commissioned. Uh, and it's been a few weeks now. They do know about it. And hopefully should be sorting it out. But it's also not recording my export at the moment. So uh, I've only got up until the 7th of April. So the first week of April was 82.23 kilowatt hours. Although I've just been outside. And luckily the meter itself is recording the export. It's just not talking to, or uh, well, they've not updated it for the export on Octopus, and that was 300 exactly. So uh, on the first of morning of the 1st of May, so 382.23 for the kilowatt hours, which is a lot higher than what it was last month. Last month was 274, so yeah, a lot more. 100 kilowatt hours more this month in April being exported at 15p a kilowatt hour. So for the gas this month, it started to go off, but we have had to have it on because it's been quite chilly uh, in April. As you can see there where there's been gaps, um, we've not used anything. And then we've had it back on again and then kind of turned it off over the last couple of days of the month. As we only use it for heating, obviously, because we have the eddy for the hot water. Uh, 
So this is the new meter, obviously, because the gas meter was swapped out as well. So for on this meter reading, we've got 56.9 cubic meters for the month. Although I have found out from a previous bill now that we used 55 uh, kilowatt hours of gas for the beginning of April. Luckily, that was billed separately, so I can add that up uh, when we come to do the numbers. So I've had to do a little bit of calculations because of the meter problem that only ran from the 8th of April that was recorded. Although I did see on a previous bill, they billed me up to the 4th of April. So I've tried to work out the missing kind of day. So I've worked out that we used 771 kilowatt hours at the cheap rate of seven and a half pence, which equaled 57 pounds and 82. And on the expensive rate, we used 6.5 kilowatt hours. Now the rates dropped slightly, it's 27.94 pence a kilowatt hour, that equaled £1.81. On the export side, we actually exported 382 kilowatt hours and at 15 pence per kilowatt hour, that's not a bad figure, £57.33 pence exported. As I said before, March, we exported only, well, a lot less, 100 uh, kilowatt hours less. So for the gas, 2nd of April to the 1st of May, 29 days, uh, that was 680 kilowatt hours at the uh, rate of 5.96 pence per kilowatt hour. That equaled 40 pounds and 52 pence. Although, again, I've looked at the good old Octopus gas tracker for the east of England. Uh, the average price for the month in April for that was just over four pence per kilowatt hour. So it would have equaled 27 pounds had I moved to it, which I now can seeing that my gas meter is giving 30 minute readings to octopus so for the standing charges the gas now these have changed a little bit actually before i get onto it so pre-april they were 27.47 for gas so that went up slightly um, a penny and a half the electric was 42 pence a day uh, before april it's now gone up to 47 for me on uh, octopus intelligent so another 5.8 pence a day for that uh, so for the gas, 28.95 times 30 days in April gives us £8.69. The electric, as I say, 47.85 pence a day now, nearly 50p a day, uh, times 30 days uh, equals £14.36. So it won't be long, I don't think, before we see a pound a day for standing charge for gas and electric. So in summary, the gas, 40 pounds and 52 pence plus the standing charge of 869 gives us 49 pounds, 21 pence for the month. And for the electric, so we spent 59 pounds and 63 pence. Don't forget 27 pounds of that was for the EVs. Uh, then we need to add on the standing charge of 1436, but then subtract the export, which was 57 pounds leaves us with a total for the month that we spent on electric and don't forget we ran the cars as well on this 16 pounds and 66 pence for the month uh, if i add the gas to that that equals 65 pounds and 87 pence in total for the month so that's it for the month thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed the video it seems that you know april hasn't been a great month for solar really let's hope that may is just as good as previous years we'll find out next month um, if you do like the video give us a like and don't forget to leave your comments below about what sort of uh, solar generation you made in april again thanks for watching and i'll see you soon